Introduction Hey kids, in our previous lesson, we have learned so many things about plant. Now we will learn photosynthesis in higher plants. Photosynthesis is the process of converting light energy to chemical energy and form glucose which is used by the plant for various activities. Photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast using chlorophyll which is a green pigment involved in photosynthesis. There are two cycles through which photosynthesis takes place. They are Kelvin cycle and C4 cycle. The rate of photosynthesis is affected by availability of light, carbon dioxide concentration, etc. So, throughout this module, we will learn photosynthesis in higher plants. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define photosynthesis Discuss early experiments of photosynthesis Know where does photosynthesis take place? Explain pigments involved in photosynthesis. Explain light reaction. Explain electron transport. Define splitting of water. Explain cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Discuss chemiosmotic hypothesis. Explain Calvin cycle. Explain C4 pathway. Discuss photorespiration. Explain factors affecting photosynthesis. What do we know? Photosynthesis may be defined as the synthesis of carbohydrates by the green organs of a plant in the presence of sunlight from carbon dioxide and water taken up from the air and soil respectively. Let us test a leaf for starch. Remove a green leaf from a plant. Use the forceps to place the leaf in the boiling water. Boil for 2 minutes. After that, place the boiled leaf in boiling tube containing 90% ethanol. Now place the boiling test tube in the hot water until the leaf decolorizes. Now remove the leaf and wash it with cold tap water. Now spread the leaf on a white surface. Add a few drops of iodine solution on the leaf and the leaf turns to dark blue color which indicates the presence of starch and also proves that photosynthesis occur. Early Experiments Priestley Experiment First he places a candle in closed jar and it gets extinguished. After that he placed a mouse in the bell jar and the mouse also gets suffocated. He concluded that burning candle and breathing mouse damaged the air. Now he placed a mint plant in the closed jar and it was observed that both mouse and candle survive very well. He concluded that plant restored the air that was damaged by candle and mouse. Early Experiments Jan Ingenhouse has proved that sunlight is essential for photosynthesis. He experimented on aquatic plants that in the presence of sunlight there are small bubbles around the green parts of the plant and in the absence of sunlight no bubbles were formed. These bubbles were found to be of oxygen. Early Experiments Julius von Saat's Experiment he showed that glucose is produced when plants grow and it is mostly stored as starch. T. W. Engelmann experiment. He used a prism to split light into its spectral components and then illuminated a green alga, Cladophora. The bacteria are in blue and red light of split spectrum. Cornelius van Niel demonstrated that photosynthesis is a light-dependent reaction. The chemical reaction for the photosynthesis is 6 CO2 with 12 H2O in presence of light gives C6H12O6 which is glucose with 6 H2O which is water and with 6 O2 which is oxygen. 
Where does photosynthesis take place? Photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast which is present in all the green parts of the plants and leaves that are the main site of photosynthesis. Each chloroplast is surrounded by a chloroplast envelope which consists of three layers. They are the outer membrane, the intermembrane space and the inner membrane. It consists of stroma, thylakoids, granum, lamellae, lipid globules, starch granules, ribosomes. There are two stages of photosynthesis. The first stage is light reaction and the second stage is dark reaction. The chloroplast is involved in both the stages of photosynthesis. In light reaction, the membrane system captures the light energy and synthesizes ATP and NADPH. Whereas in dark reaction, synthesis of sugar takes place. This reaction not directly dependent on light, but on the product of light reaction. How many pigments are involved in photosynthesis? Chloroplast pigments constitute 5 to 8 percent of the total dry weight of chloroplasts. The color that we see in the leaves is due to four pigments. They are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, carotenoids. Chlorophyll A is a widely distributed photosynthetic pigment found in the plant kingdom. It is blue-green in color and it is called primary photosynthetic pigment as it is responsible for the emission of electrons during cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Chlorophyll B is yellow-green in color. It transfers the energy absorbed by it to chlorophyll A. Therefore, it is called an accessory pigment. Carotenoids and Xanthophylls Carotenoids are the lipid compounds and are red, yellow to orange in color. They absorb light energy and transfer it to chlorophyll A for use in photosynthesis. They also protect the chlorophyll molecule from photooxidation. Xanthophylls are yellow in color. They are involved in photosynthesis with chlorophyll. What is light reaction? In light reaction, solar energy is trapped by chlorophyll and in a series of reactions, ATP and NADPH is produced and in the process, water splits and releases oxygen as a byproduct. The light absorbing pigments are located in the thylakoids membranes. Chlorophyll P680 and P700 are present in these membranes. P680 and P700 molecules form the reaction centers or photocenters. The reaction center pigment molecule is associated with several hundred light gathering pigments. The accessory pigments and other chlorophyll molecules harvest solar energy and pass it on the reaction centers. These are called light harvesting or antenna molecules. The cluster of pigment molecules which transfer their energy to P680 absorb at or below the wavelength of 680 nm. Together with P680, they form a photosystem 2 or PS2. Likewise, P700 forms photosystem 1 or PS1 along with pigment molecules which absorb light at or below 700 nm. The electron transport. Both photosystems are involved here and the electron extruded by P680 or PS2 does not return to it but is passed on to NADP plus with the help of PS1. P680 after gaining photon energy extrudes an electron which is picked up by pheophytin a non-Mg chlorophyll A from which electron passes on to another electron acceptor Q and then to plastoquinone. The electron is picked up by cytochrome F complex and synthesizes ATP and then passes to plastocyanin. 
Plastocyanin hands over the electron to P700 or PS1. Reaction center of PS1 extrude the electron which passes through FES, FD and then to NADP+, which converts to NADPH2. This scheme is also called the Z scheme due to the characteristic shape. Splitting of water it is breaking up of H2O into hydrogen and oxygen in the illuminated chloroplast. A small complex of protein is attached to photosystem 2. It is called oxygen evolving complex. OEC center oxidizes H2O into oxygen, H plus and electrons. Cl minus, Ca2 plus and MN2 plus are required during this process. Cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation Cyclic photophosphorylation When the photons activate photosystem 1, a pair of electrons is raised to a high energy level. They are captured by the primary acceptor which passes through electron transport system and finally back to chlorophyll. P700 or PS1. The proton gradient triggers ATP synthesis. As this process is cyclic, so it is called a cyclic photophosphorylation. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It occurs in green plants and involves both PS1 and PS2 photosystems. In this case, both photosystems are illuminated and there is a continuous current of electrons flowing from P680 to NADP+. Chemiosmotic Hypothesis Chemiosmotic Hypothesis explains ATP synthesis in chloroplast. Chemiosmosis requires a membrane, a proton pump, a proton gradient and ATPase. In the thylakoid membrane, protons accumulate towards the inside of the membrane, that is, in the lumen. Proton gradient develops because of the following reasons. Water splitting reaction takes place on the inner side of the membrane. So, hydrogen ions produced in the reaction accumulates within the lumen. During the photophosphorylation steps, when the electron carrier molecule passes on its electrons to the electron carriers on the inner side of the membrane, protons are released into the inner side or the lumen of the membrane. NADP reductase enzyme is located on the stroma side of the membrane. Protons are removed from the stroma and provided to the lumen because protons are necessary for the reduction of NADP plus to NADPH plus H plus along with the electrons that come from the electron acceptor located in PS1. As a result, the protons in the stroma decrease in number and the protons in the lumen increase in number. Thus, proton gradient is created across the thylakoid membrane. The proton gradient is broken down due to the movement of H plus from the lumen towards the stroma through the transmembrane channel to F0 of ATPase. ATPase, this enzyme has two parts, F0, F1. Conformational changes are induced in the F1 particle of the ATPase. This makes ATPase synthesize molecules of ATP. Where are the ATP and NADPH used? ATP and NADPH are produced in light reaction and then they lead to the process of synthesis of food. This is called the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis. The study of Melvin Calvin led to the discovery that the first product after carbon dioxide fixation is a 3-carbon organic acid which was identified as 3-phosphoglyceric acid or PGA. Another acid named oxaloacetic acid or 
OAA was also found as first product after carbon dioxide fixation in some plants. The primary acceptor of CO2. The acceptor molecule was ribulose biphosphate, RUBP, that is 5 carbon keto sugar. The Calvin cycle. There are three stages in Calvin cycle. They are carboxylation, reduction, regeneration. Carboxylation. In carboxylation, carbon dioxide, CO2, combined with 5 carbon molecule called RUBP and the result is 6 carbon molecule which is unstable and immediately splits into 2 3 carbon molecules called 3 phosphoglycerate reduction using energy from the products of light reaction that are ATP and NADPH a pair of 3 phosphoglycerates converted through a series of reactions into 2 molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Many of the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecules combine to form glucose. For a new glucose molecule, the cycle has to turn several times because each turn only adds one carbon atom from one molecule of carbon dioxide. Regeneration Regeneration of molecule of RUBP is vital to have uninterrupted Calvin cycle. The C4 pathway. Plants that are found in dry tropical regions follow C4 pathway. A C4 plant is better adapted to conditions than a C3 plant such as daytime temperatures, intense sunlight, drought and nitrogen limitation. C4 plants have a special anatomy called Kranz anatomy. In C4 plants, vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle shed cells. Example of C4 plants are maize, sugarcane, amaranth, sorghum, etc. Mechanism of C4 pathway the primary carbon dioxide acceptor molecule is phosphenol pyruvate by the action of phosphenol pyruvate carboxylase in the cytoplasm of mesophyll cell. It produces a 4-carbon compound oxaloacetate and it is converted into another 4-carbon compound called malet and produce NADPH. Now, the malet is transported to bundle shed cells. The 4-carbon mallet is decarboxylated to produce carbon dioxide, a 3-carbon compound called pyruvate and NADPH. The carbon dioxide combines with ribulose biphosphate and gets involved in the Calvin cycle. The produced pyruvate re-enters into mesophyll cells where it reacts with ATP and converted back to phosphenol pyruvate and reinitiates C4 cycle. Photorespiration Photorespiration is a process in which plants in the presence of sunlight consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, which results in the decrease of photosynthetic output and no ATP is produced. In C3 plants, Rubisco enzyme has greater affinity for carbon dioxide than for oxygen and it also depends upon the relative concentration. During hot dry days, the plants close their stomata to prevent the loss of water through transpiration, due to which carbon dioxide cannot enter into the leaves than oxygen molecules are used and it produces a toxic substance photoglycolate. So, in this way, no production of ATP occurs due to photorespiration. Whereas, in C4 plants, no photorespiration occurs because they have a mechanism to increase the concentration of carbon dioxide at the enzyme site as it releases carbon dioxide in the bundle sheet cells. Factors affecting photosynthesis 
Blackman's law of limiting factor states that rate of photosynthesis is affected by the pace of limiting factor, for example, light or CO2. Light At low light intensities, with the increase in light intensity, the rate of light-dependent reaction increases and it results in increased rate of photosynthesis. As more number of photons fall on leaf, photosynthesis output increases linearly. At higher light intensities, the rate of photosynthesis becomes limited and it may damage the chlorophyll molecule. Carbon Dioxide Concentration When the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, the rate at which carbon is converted into carbohydrate increases in the dark reaction and hence rate of photosynthesis increases until limited by another factor. The concentration of carbon dioxide is very low in the atmosphere. Increasing concentration also increases rate of photosynthesis, but it gets settled when the maximum rate of fixation is reached. Temperature The light reaction of photosynthesis are much less affected by the temperature, whereas dark reactions are affected from temperature as enzymes catalyzes the reaction. As enzymes approach their optimum temperature, the overall rate increases. The rate approximately doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius increase in temperature and it decreases beyond the optimum temperature as enzymes get denatured. Water Water is reactant in photosynthesis. A plant utilizes less than 1% water for its total absorption and the rest is transpired. A decrease in water causes close of stomata and due to which availability of carbon dioxide decreases. Did you know? Fungicides increase photosynthesis, yield potential. The research trials indicate that fungicides containing F500 helped water-stressed plants buffer against environmental stresses. Photosynthesis is the driving engine for energy production in plants, said Jennifer Holland, PhD. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Photosynthesis may be defined as the synthesis of carbohydrates by the green organs of a plant in the presence of sunlight from carbon dioxide and water taken up from the air and soil respectively. Photosynthesis occurs in chloroplast which is present in all the green parts of the plants. The color that we see in the leaves is due to chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and carotenoids. In the light reaction, solar energy is trapped by chlorophyll and in a series of reactions, ATP and NADPH is produced and in the process, water splits and releases oxygen as a byproduct. The electron extruded by P680 or PS2 and is passed on to NADP+, with the help of PS1. It is called non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Three stages of Calvin cycle are carboxylation, reduction and regeneration. C4 plants have special anatomy called Kranz anatomy and the primary carbon dioxide acceptor molecule is phosphenol pyruvate. Photorespiration is a process in which plants in the presence of sunlight consume oxygen and release carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, which results in the decrease in the photosynthetic output and no ATP is produced. Factors affecting photosynthesis are light, carbon dioxide concentration, temperature and water.